All this show, we have been playing a game. Where in the Berg is Mikey Hood? She has given us three clues already. So many people have been chiming in on our PTL Facebook page to guess where she might be. Including our producer, Jill, who's not with us today. And she uh, said, hey, David, Mikey is at, oh, wait, I can't tell you. <laughs> Love, Jill. <laughs> Love Thanks, you too, Jill. Jill. Um, someone said Frick Park Mansion. Pittsburgh Botanic Garden is another one. Boyd and Blair. Boyd and Blair. Oh. The vodka. But this, yeah, she was saying farm. whiskey. Okay. Okay. I think we just need to be done with this. And yes. Find out for sure. Where is Mikey? The suspense is killing us. <laughs> so I guess, Heather and David, you guys haven't figured out where I am. Well, let me tell you. I am at the Pittsburgh Botanic Gardens. How beautiful is this place? It is in Oakdale, right outside of Robinson. And I am at the Lily Pond, I believe it's what it's called. I think there's an official name for it, but I'm here with Beth Exton and she is the development director here at the gardens. And so Beth, give us a little bit of history about this place. Sure, I'd be happy to and welcome. Um, I've enjoyed the morning with you today. But yes, this is our Lotus Pond, which is located in the Japanese garden area. We are the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. We've been open to the public for four and a half years. We have 60 acres for the public to come and explore different um, habitats for animals to live in. We have um, a variety of garden areas for people to come and experience and explore. And we just like to provide education for the public. And we also are doing our part for conservation. So we've been turning what was once coal land coal mine land into this beautiful garden. Oh yeah, see we gave one of those clues earlier yes. about the coal. And so this place is massive. I mean there's flowers, there's there's lakes and ponds everywhere. It probably takes a lot to maintain, right? It does. We have a very mighty staff, um, not overly large, but our horticultural staff is well educated and they do their best to keep this in place. And we also have a team of volunteers that helps to do the weeding. So, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And so when you come here, what is like a must do? What do you what do you do when you get here? Oh my gosh, there's so much to do when you get here, but definitely visiting our Lotus Pond is one of the things to do when you're here. You also can explore our meadow and our apiary where our bees live. Um, we also have coming next year a new um, welcome center. So that will be exciting then. Um, it will include a cafe. And, and the one thing that screamed to me immediately about this place is the fact that I think this will be a beautiful destination to get married in. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have a lot of that occurring um, back in our celebration garden. This is a hot wedding spot. It's also a place just to have um, family gatherings and um, hang out. Yeah, and also too, I, I love to hike, so maybe a good nature walk. Absolutely. We have about three miles of trails that you can go walk around. And um, we also do a lot of educational programming. So this Sunday from 11 to 4, we actually are having programs about bats. I know, it's a perfect for this time of year. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So, well, this place is open all year round, and I believe the admission is only $10, right? And so, if you want more information about the Pittsburgh Botanic Gardens, you can visit PittsburghTodayLive.com. And, Beth, I think that we should take one of those uh, nature walks, right? Absolutely. Actually, let's go this let's way go across way. the bridge. Okay, cool. Bye. Oh, <laughs> there that go. Like so much. You know what I love about her segments is a lot of times, I, I don't know where she is, and I mm -hmm. learned something new about a place in Pittsburgh that I hadn't known about. There are so many things to do and see in western Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and so, like, you could jam-pack your weekends with just the stuff we talk about on PTI. Right. Now we have a new one. Yeah. Okay, so shout out to Sue Linner. She mm -hmm. guessed right. Um, and then underneath our comment section on our post, let's see, Mikey is at Botanica. That was Suzanne Legger, Legler. And oh, so two people got it right. Yes. Okay. And possibly Jonetta. Jonetta, okay. She yes. said in Oakdale, but that's not close to Oakdale, right? Oh, no, I think it is close is to it Oakdale. Oak yeah, it could it? be an Oakdale okay. uh, post office address, perhaps. All right. Yeah. Well, good yeah. job, Congratulations ladies. to everybody, because we didn't know. We were truly in the dark. I had and no guesses. Kill, or Jill kept us in the dark. Yeah. She really did this time.